is here tonight making her network television debut. Please welcome to The Late Show, Wally Barham. I'm Wally, I'm Mexican and Syrian, or as Fox News might call me, a very lazy terrorist. <laughs> I just turned 23. Thank you, yeah. It's a very particular age. I feel like I'm not a child, but I'm also not quite an adult. It's like this very weird purgatory where even my body exists here, where like I'm 5'2 and I have a baby face, but I have boobs and the voice of like an eighth grade Jewish boy. <laughs> I hear it, I do hear it. <laughs> I definitely don't deserve the respect of an adult. I know that for sure. I recently had to publicly pronounce the word hors d'oeuvres or as I said at Horsey Diorvies. <laughs> Have you seen the word? There's punctuation in the middle of the word. <laughs> it's like, use the original tools you were given. <laughs> I had to write out my first rent check recently with the words. <laughs> Fun fact, turns out I don't know how to spell numbers. <laughs> Like, you think you know, and then you're hit with hundred, and you're like, hundred, hundred, hundred. Pay my rent in five hundurans. <laughs> God forbid you're hit with the number eight. It's like, E-I what? <laughs> what is that word? It's five letters, and none of them make sense but T. <laughs> Truly, I don't know. I don't know anything. Someone asked me recently if I thought they had a fever, if I thought they felt warm. I was like, wow, I don't even know how warm people are. <laughs> I'm not even acclimated to human touch. <laughs> I'm doing that thing moms do where I'm feeling myself and then them trying to subtract my temperature from theirs. <laughs> I think it'd be great if real doctors did it that way, if they just compared themselves to you. <laughs> They were like, well, my arm's hard, and yours is crunchy. You're screaming, and I'm not. <laughs> I'd say it's broken. <laughs> Making friends as an adult, I don't know why it's, it's bananas hard, truly. It, it appears to me, in order to make friends as an adult, I needed to have previously had friends, from which I meet the new friends. Begs the question, how did the first person make friends? It's one of these like chicken or the egg situations, except for I have no chickens and no eggs, and I'm just a sad farmer. <laughs> it's just me and my cabbage. I get it, I'm particular. Um, I have OCD, I was diagnosed when I was in the third grade and I had an obsession with finger guns. <laughs> and every time I did a finger gun on one side, I had to do a finger gun on the other side. <laughs> Consequently, I became a violently jazzy third grader. <laughs> One thing that really bothers me about having OCD is that people like to use it as an adjective, which I feel like you just shouldn't be able to do with disorders. <laughs> Someone might say to me, Wally, I feel like you're being a little bit OCD right now. I definitely can't be on a hike and say, Barbara, I feel like you're being a little bit polio. <laughs> I'll be honest, um, it's a weird time to be Mexican. It is. Uh, I recently took a trip to Ohio where I flew into the airport, um, went to hail a cab, the cab driver looked back at me and he said, I don't take 
Yeah, horrifying, horrifying. And then he sped off. Um, and I saw on his bumper, he had a bunch of crosses and Bible verses. And sometimes I just think it's so wild when conservative Christians are the ones that are racist against Mexicans because nobody loves Jesus more than Mexicans. <laughs> We love him so much. We name our children after him. <laughs> White people don't do that. <laughs> you don't mean a Jesus Vanderbilt? <laughs> a Jesus Sullivan? <laughs> Truly, there's not quite a similar fandom for white people. Like, the Beatles would have to be a sports team. <laughs> and that's Jesus to Mexicans. <laughs> My mom loves Jesus. She loves him so much. She is every kind of Jesus. Towels, statues, figurines. Jesus in every position. Jesus hitting a baseball. <laughs> Jesus eating a pickle. <laughs> Every kind of like poster, picture, if you go into her home, it looks like she's trying to solve a Jesus-based crime. <laughs> like, what did Jesus do? <laughs> you guys, thank you so much. I've been Wally Barum. Wally Barum, everybody. We'll be right back.